Welcome back to mycology exploration. In this video, we're going to be talking about agar and color. Why do people add food coloring to their agar? Well, I think there's two reasons that people add food coloring to their agar. And all you need is one drop. You just add one drop of food coloring to your agar recipe as it's cooling and before you put it in the pressure cooker. And it doesn't matter if you're creating the no pour jars or the Petri dish. Just one drop is all you need. And I really think it's so that you can see the mycelium growth on your plates and your no pour jars. We've actually received quite a few comments recently about people having a hard time seeing the mycelium growth on their dishes or in their no pour jars. So the food coloring could create that contrast of color and the mycelium will be white. So we actually love using the blue food coloring because you can really see that white mycelium. It's just gorgeous. And the blue really does create this clean agar effect. The other reason would be to color code your agar dishes and no pour jars by recipe. So we do a water agar an MEA and an MYA. So we will color those in three different colors so we know which dish we're looking at. So it makes it really easy to not confuse which recipe or agar dish that you're looking at. This here in the video is an MEA recipe with the blue food coloring. And you will need to pressure cook these no pour jars or your bottle over here before you pour your Petri dishes in a still air box or in front of your flow hood. So those will need to go in the pressure cooker 20 minutes at 15 PSI. So the only difference with adding the food coloring is just adding one drop to what you're already doing. And again, you can make each recipe a different color Advanced mycologists do not add food coloring to their Petri dishes. They will use an actual blood agar dish or a whatever color the dish is for whatever it is that they're trying to grow. So there is charcoal, which creates a black Petri dish. Again, the blood creates a red Petri dish or an orange dish. It's actually fascinating to learn about the colored agar dishes from a mycologist, not a home mycologist, that doesn't use food coloring.